Hello and welcome back. I'm Anna. I'm an illustrator and designer running my small business from home. And yeah, back then when I started my Etsy shop, I also started to make my own sticker sheets at home with my Cricut. So today I'm gonna teach you how you can do that as well. I will show you how to prepare your design in Procreate so that the sticker sheet will look like this one or like this one. So uh, the Cricut will only kiss cut the stickers and the background will not be cut as well. You can of course also use another program like Photoshop or Illustrator to make your design, but as I know that a lot of you are only working in Procreate and don't have any Adobe programs, I thought I will do a Procreate tutorial now. And I myself also actually enjoy uh, to make the design only in one software and not to switch to another one while I design. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's quickly go through the things you need to make sticker sheets at home. Firstly, you of course need a cutting machine. I use my Cricut Maker, but you can also use a Cricut Explore or a Silhouette machine. Then you also need a good printer. I have the Canon PIXMA IP8750. It's a photo printer, which I'm quite happy about, except that it needs a lot of ink. Then, of course, also sticker paper. We will try this paper for the first time, but I normally use either the PPD sticker paper or HTV round vinyl. I will link all of them down below in the description box. And then you also need an iPad, an Apple Pencil and Procreate to make your designs. Let's go ahead and start. We're gonna start in Procreate. So let's open it. I already opened this file and I have prepared a background, this one, for my sticker sheets that I use all the time. And I just added this text and the color of this border. And then I drew all my designs on a new layer. So here I already made the designs. You need two different files uh, to export to Cricut. So one file is this background where you can also make a colored background. And then the other file will be the stickers with a border around them, which we'll do now. Um, yeah, so that the Cricut knows where to cut your stickers and it won't cut this uh, yeah, border that I made up here and it also won't cut the text. Okay, so let's go on and make the outlines. So for that I just make the background invisible and open another layer and drag it underneath my sticker layer. And now I just make the outlines with a simple monoline brush. then finished filling in all the outlines make sure to check if everything is filled in perfectly like I did here there was a little spot and then I just group them and you can already export both files so first I export the background and then I export only the stickers as a PNG file also, if you want to make a sticker sheet with a colored background, uh, you have to add another layer of outlines underneath your outline layer if you want your outlines to be white like I did here. Because it may happen that the Cricut cuts a little bit off, so you need a bit of an extra white space on your background. So, now 
I'll just go ahead and bring your designs into Cricut Design Space. Click New Project and then Upload. I'm sorry it's in German <laughs> because I'm from Austria, but here is the Upload icon. Then we go here and put our first file to upload. Then you have to click on complex so that it will upload it in a good quality. Then next. Here you can also just click next. Yeah, and then we go to print then cut. So not this one, this will only cut the forms. We will go to print then cut. Yeah, and then upload. So then the second one, that's the background now, complex. Print and cut and upload. So now click on both of your designs and click down here on add to canvas. Yeah, now we have both of them in our Cricut Design Space and we need to resize them. So I will go by 6.3 by 3 inches for these because I want to fit three of these sheets um, on one sticker paper sheet. So let's try that. Also when your background lay is on top of your designs like that, uh, do right click and then put it in the background. So and then you can just adjust it to the center. I will go here. Then I select both designs and turn it to the side. You can also right click and then connect them. So and then we're gonna duplicate them two times. So you can duplicate it here. One and another one. Select all the three sheets, go on right click and then again combine. And now we can already click on make it. As you can see we have now three sheets on one sheet of paper. We go to next and then you can click to send to printer. Uh, untoggle this because then it will add uh, an offset to it and we don't need that but we need this we need this system dialog so toggle this and then click on print when you click on print it will show the printing settings underneath your Cricut design space I don't know why it does that it's really annoying but yeah that's how it is so and these are the print settings I use for my printer so I normally use the uh, paper quality matte photo paper but for this new paper uh, it says that you have to use glossy photo paper or premium coated paper so we will go with glossy photo paper and the print quality on high and then we can already print it then I forgot to mention the cut settings that I use for uh, kiss cut is the washi tape setting from Cricut. Mm, look at the colors. This paper is good. I love it. Now let's gonna place our sheet on our Cricut mat. So, I always make sure that this is lined up very correctly and then you have to follow this right line so that this lines up perfectly. Up here it's not very important, it's only important that it lines up perfectly here so that the Cricut can cut it good and not off. I hold it like this to the left side so it's lined up here correctly okay and then you press our little arrow and 
Let Cricket Do Its Magic. So now we're back at Cricut Design Space and we will click on Done so that we're back in our design space where we made our sheet. So and now we will go up here on the right and you will make only the stickers layers invisible. We will still leave the background layer. Then we will again go to make it next here uh, we will click on i've already printed and now we will click on printable sticker paper so that it will cut through the whole paper and we can easily remove the stickers from our mat so now we load our mat again So, and Cricut cuts now only around our background. So, and now you can easily peel off your sticker sheets from our mat. I always turn it around so that I don't bend the sticker sheets. peel them off and here is no cut. Very beautiful. So I like this paper a lot but it's a little thin as you can see. Uh, yeah but the colors are amazing. They are really 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 good. Okay so uh, just a little information. Um, if you have a silhouette machine and don't use a Cricut, you don't have to go back to cut the sticker sheet outline uh, because on silhouette you actually can uh, cut two different cut settings in one cutting round. So this is really amazing and I really hope that this will come to Cricut too, but now I have to do it in that kind of way. If you have any other ideas how you can do that um, quicker so that it cuts the stickers in a kiss cut and then the sheet fully through, let me know in the comments. I would love to know that. So then, if you have any cutting problems with your Cricut so that it cuts off, um, I would recommend to calibrate it again and then when it's still off, calibrate it again. So sometimes it really needs to be calibrated quite some times until you have the right cut. So uh, this is actually my second uh, Cricut because my first one broke and on my first one I only calibrated it once and then everything worked perfectly and on this second one I had to calibrate it four times four times until it worked properly. So yeah, just try that if it's not working. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. You have now made your first sticker sheet at home with your Cricut. Um, also, uh, these little sticker sheets will be part of my Patreon Happy Mail. I will add two new tiers beginning March, one for only a sticker sheet happy mail and another one for sticker sheet with my uh, postcard print and die cut sticker. Uh, so this was a test print and cut for me. Um, the sticker sheets will be slightly bigger than that. Uh, yeah, because these are 
really small but I just wanted to test if I can fit three sticker sheets on one piece of paper. Um, yeah, and I also currently like this slim size of sticker sheets. I normally did such a size for my sticker sheets but since I partnered with Sticky Club and uh, they made this kind of size uh, with my illustrations, I like that size so much more and also that the stickers are way smaller than what I did at home. So yeah, as you can see, my current sheet that I made is a little bit smaller than this one. I will try to do nearly that kind of size when it fits on the paper. So if you're interested in a monthly sticker sheet Happy Mail, head over to my Patreon and subscribe. You can cancel your subscription at any time and yeah, enjoy monthly stickers to make your planner look cute. Yeah, and thank you so much for watching. I hope it will help you to make your own stickers at home and that you will have a lot of fun making them. I really like making them. If you have any further questions regarding making sticker sheets or anything else, let me know in the comments. And if you are also interested in making me another kind of how-to video, also let me know in the comments. Thank you!